Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. So last time we were just about to do a quest we got from the Fighters Guild, which sounded pretty interesting. It is to hunt down some criminals that are hiding in the Howling Wolf. Uh, and yeah, they have some evidence they escaped with. Uh, and we have to do it really quickly, as quick as possible, uh, or else they're going to destroy the evidence. So I think we're on a pretty big time element here. So uh, let's find this Howling Wolf place as quick as we possibly can. I'm not sure if like the, the timer for doing the quest... Uh, is starting now or if it's going to start when we actually find this building but regardless let's see the howling wolf i guess that's probably a tavern huh let's see yeah the howling wolf tavern south okay so let's grab our horse and start heading south and along the way we will ask about where this place is hopefully we can get it marked on our map southwest okay I wonder if we've been there before. We might have it marked. Oh, we haven't. Okay. And then once we've finished this Fighter's Guild quest, uh, I basically just want to wait out the days this episode until Daedra summoning. I can't talk to that NPC for some reason. I'm not sure if that's a bug, but that's like the one NPC I can't seem to talk to in towns. Okay, so Tavern. Howling Wolf. Okay, perfect. We got it marked on our map. It is this one straight to the southeast over here. I think this is it right here. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to save the game before we go in here. 735. We get on foot, and let's throw on our sword before we go in here. There is our Daikatana. Okay, I'm going to wait for it to equip, because I want to kill these guys as fast as possible, and let's do this. Okay. Gotta move quick, gotta move quick, before they destroy the evidence. Question is, where are they? The thug yells some code words, and others come out of hiding. You smell something burning, but don't know where it's coming from. Okay. So they might be burning the evidence right now. Let's see if I can take these guys out just as quick as I possibly can. You quickly rummage through your foe's items and find the burning parchment. Slapping the fire out, you store it as safely as you can. Nice, okay. So we did it quick enough, I think, to successfully complete this quest. Perfect. And we get all of this loot to sell as well. Okay, so, uh, while we're down here in the town square, I'm actually gonna, I accidentally changed, or my settings got reset, and two of the settings I often use got mixed up. I usually have B for transport, and then T for my travel map. I'm gonna change those right there. Okay. So, since we're in the town square, we might as well just sell uh, the goods that we have, that we got from our last couple of quests. So let's just do that quickly before we go and return this fighter's guild quest. So, ingredients. Everything here. And then we'll check our wagon. Okay, we don't want to sell that stuff. And then we need to go to the south. To the pawn shop. I think that it's southwest, yeah. Southwest of the pawn shop, and then we can sell all of our weapons and armor there. Um, okay. And then we probably want to store some of our money in the bank here. Rather than carrying it around, because it's going to take up a lot of weight. I think this is it, right? Okay, perfect. So, let's sell all our stuff. Actually, I haven't even, I don't often pay attention. Let's see how much the leather actually sells for. That is really a pretty miserable price. Only 92 gold. That is really, like, chump change to us at this point. It's, it's crazy how much of a difference, uh, like, Daedric armor or, like, high-quality armor is in terms of how much, how, how much it's worth. Well, this Elven Dagger is worth almost nothing, too, which is kind of surprising. Okay, we're gonna sell all of that, and then, well, we did get a Daedric Flail, so we can sell that. Um, we could hold on to this to improve Blunt Weapon, which we might want to do at some point. I'm not sure whether it's worth it. Realistically, will we ever really want to sit down and improve our Blunt Weapon? The reason we want to do it is to increase our rank in the Fighter's Guild. Um, we'll sell it. I don't think we're ever going to realistically want to do that. And if we did, we can always find a new one, probably. Okay, so we're going to sell all of that. 22,000 gold, perfect. I think we didn't want one of these, right? Yeah, we don't need this. these straps of Fireballs. Um, this Fortitude Sash, though, we'll, we'll hold on to. So we'll sell that. 
And let me just check in our wagon. Okay, we do have this long shirt. Don't need that for any reason. Okay. Wait, I, I forgot to sell the this thing, didn't I? All right, perfect. Now we can head up to the bank and store our money in the bank. Now, I remember, uh, I think it was on the last episode of the episode before, I was talking about how I didn't know how to tell how much money we had in a letter of credit and how much money we had basically just in pure cash. And someone actually left a comment explaining how to do it, but I haven't actually gotten a chance to read it yet. I just quickly glanced at it and saw that someone said that they knew how to do it. So I'm still not sure how. I'll definitely read that comment after this episode. But until then, I'm just going to have to do it manually. Now, the reason it would be nice to know is because every time you withdraw a letter of credit, you basically have to pay extra money. So I feel like I'm wasting money every single time I go to the bank and withdraw a letter of credit. That's the reason that I'd rather not constantly deposit all my letters of credit and then re-withdraw them. It'd be better to keep them. At the same time, I do have three separate letters of credit now, so it might be a good idea to just absorb them into one, because the fact that I have three is a little bit annoying. Like, I don't need all three of these. So I think we'll actually just absorb them all into one. Let's see. So let's just deposit all of our letters of credit here. So we have 54,414 in non-letters of credit. We're going to put all that in the bank. Oh, wait. I think I just put in 5,000 by accident. Okay, so... How much money do we need to carry around? We'll just draw, like, withdraw... Th well, I guess it doesn't matter how much we, we withdraw, right? We'll, we'll withdraw, like, 30,000 in case we need it in a letter of credit. Um, for now. And then we'll keep the rest of the money in the bank and we'll... For, for a date or something. So, uh, let's go to the Fighter's Guild and return this quest we just did. Now, I'm just going to check right here because I have it up. I want to make sure about Daedra summoning, uh, what day we need to pay attention to. So, um, the 13th of Frostfall is the day that the Daedra summoning quest that we want to do is. And it's the 6th of Frostfall. So, we have 7 days, basically, to blow. So, we, maybe that's like a quest or two worth of stuff. Or we can just travel somewhere um, nearby and then come back. And then once we've done that Daedra summoning quest, we'll be pretty clear, I think, for a while to do the other things that we talked about last episode in terms of traveling around, maybe doing something for the main quest, the Cartographer's Guild. Um, for now, let's return the quest. Good enough. Trust me, if they sent in the guards to do this, all they'd find is a bunch of warm ashes. The lady is right to ask us this, even if I dislike saying it. Okay, awesome. So, we did a Fighter's Guild quest. Our affiliation uh, should improve. We're now at Reputation 41. I wonder if we're at a high enough rank to rank up. Yes, we are. Congratulations, Titian. Because of your outstanding weaponry prowess, we have promoted you to the rank of Defender in the Guild. Among other benefits, this increases... This increase means cheaper weapon repair. Okay, that's good. And more profitable work assignments. So we'll definitely want to uh, repair all our weapons here um, from now on. Okay, so... Um, we have seven days to blow. I just want to check if we, if we have any, uh, any other uh, active quests. Um, where is Durini Tower? We have this Cartographer's Guild quest, but I think that will take too long to do. Um, oh, do we never return this uh, vampire quest that we did? I guess we never returned this vampire quest, so let's actually go and do that right now. Um, where is this individual that we did the vampire quest for? The Doran Ashford. Okay. I think he was in one of the inns that we found him, right? Um, let's just ask about him, though, to figure out what inn he's in. The Mouse and Gnome. Okay. The mouse and gnome. Okay, it's straight to be southwest. Sometimes with these villager quests, I forget to even return them. I think that happened recently, actually, with a temple quest. I, I, I believe we never even returned it. Okay, so we have to find whoever we did this quest for. I don't remember where he was exactly, but he was definitely somewhere in here. Not in there, it doesn't look like. Could it be the innkeeper, maybe? You did it. Great. Here's your 391 gold. Like I promised, we will meet again, I'm sure. Okay, awesome. So, um, unless any of these two... Oh, 
Hey, Elnord, for several weeks I have run a contest with my patrons, testing your knowledge concerning royalty among the Iliac Bay. If you're up for a challenge, I could offer you 200 gold. Might you be the first winner? I remember we tried to do this, or something similar to this pretty recently, and we got the first question wrong, embarrassingly. Let's try it again. Nilfaga is the mother-in-law of, mother of Gothry. Now, this is what we got wrong. I was wrong about this. The answer is actually no. Um, Helseth is the younger brother of Morgai. I have no idea, but I'm going to hit yes. Okay, I, I, I had no idea about that one. Yeah, that, that's. Uh, I think I need to know more lore to do this, uh, this trivia. Okay, so. We have seven days to blow, so why don't we find a quest to do? Um... We could do another quest for the Mage's Guild. We have a lot unlocked to try out, potentially. Uh, we could do a quest for Akatosh, although we'd have to find a local temple of Akatosh. Maybe we should do that, actually, because that will take up time. Let's see if they have a, a local temple of Akatosh around here. Uh, regional. Any temple of Akatosh. Okay, she does not know. How about you? They do not know either. Maybe they don't have one. Alright, no one no one around here seems to know. I have no idea. I, I don't know if, if there actually is one and I just have to keep asking. Or if there's just no Temple of Akatosh and so I'm never going to get someone to tell me where one might be. I honestly couldn't tell you. Come on guys, help me out. They really just do not know. I'm starting to think that maybe... Uh, Maybe there is just no one who knows. RK. So everyone's... Okay, let's see. So let's see if everyone gives us the same answer. Because if so, that would indicate that maybe they don't actually have a Temple of Akatosh. Temple. So that girl just responded to RK. Oh yeah, and Gallatin. So I think... And Grimbra. Yeah, I think they all say the same thing. So I think there actually might not be a Temple of Akatosh. Uh, maybe in this... In this uh, region, which kind of sucks, since that's the temple that we go to. Because, like, every single NPC gives us the same response in response to all of these different temples. So, okay, well, that idea is a bust. Uh, what else could we do in the region, the local region? Oh, I don't want to travel. Oh, we could just look by hand here and see if there's any temples of Akatosh. Sage Monument... Kinnereth. I don't think there will be one, but... Shrine. Seer of Kinnereth. Okay, so many so many different temples of Kinnereth, but none of Akatosh that I'm seeing here. There's also no dungeons marked on our map. There's some homes and towns. Huh, okay, I, I'm at a loss as, as to what to do. I think maybe we just get another quest from a guild that will send us somewhere interesting. Yeah, okay. Let's just go get a quest from a guild. That will be something to do. Something that will take us to the 13th. Um, the Mages Guild has some new interesting quests for us to do, that's for sure. So hopefully something we can get something from here that will make us travel. Uh, when I want to save the game. Okay, get quest. What do you have for me? Let's find something new. Some nobles won't stay dead, how about that? Don't you hate it, Titian, when somebody dies and refuses to stay in their grave? It is, I tell you, a most vexing situation. Perhaps you might be of assistance, yes. Well, some dead people can be most annoying. You see, the cousin of a friend of a lady died not two days ago. But at the funeral, the corpse are somewhat jumped up, ate all the nibblies, and then sauntered off to palace in, to palace in Van Castle Garden. The friend of the lady wants this cousin dead. Well, deader than the thing is at the moment. Get back here in five days, and you'll be 12,000 gold pieces richer. Okay. Sounds like an intriguing quest. So, um... I have to kill an undead noble. He's at the palace of Van Castle Garden. So let's find where Van Castle Garden is. I'm going to take off my enchanted stuff before we do our traveling here. Okay. And let's go to Van Castle Garden. And let's travel cautiously to take time up. It's still only one day away, so this actually might not take up. So this was actually not that far away, so we're not taking up as much time as I'd like, but maybe we, maybe we can find something to do in this uh, particular town. Have we been here before? Oh, well, this town looks massive. This could also be a, a good town to station at. I know we have to go to the palace, so let's head in that direction, but let's check on the way 
uh, like the center of squ uh, the center square of town if they have some good quality shops. Or I guess I should say low quality shops, stuff where I can sell things for a profitable price. I think this is the center of town up here. Yes, it is. I think most of the stores will actually be closed because it's super early in the morning. Yeah. All right, we'll check on that later. Let's go finish the quest first. Let's actually hop in the inn and rest for an hour or two. Maybe I can get some an interesting quest from one of these people in here. I'll save the game. 737. By the wolf, it's you. What is it? All right, don't need to be mean. Only the innkeeper is nice to me. Probably because he wants my business. Even though, I guess I get a room for free, so he's not getting any money off me. Madness, it's you. What is it? This is the NPC that Lady uh, Brisena is. I'm just going to hop around and see if there's anyone in these rooms who has interesting stuff for us to do. Let's check upstairs. Okay, no one's up here. Okay, we, we came in here to rest for a little while. So let's rest for, I don't know, two hours. Stuff should be open now because it's 9, 9 a.m. Okay, so now stuff should be open. So let's see what uh, what stores they have here. We got a weapon store. This is like a really high quality store, so we would never want to sell things here. They'd probably have, yeah, they have a quite a good selection of weapons. We don't really need any weapons, but it is cool that they have a lot of stuff. I remember one of the mistakes I made uh, when first doing this playthrough uh, is that I didn't realize that each shelf you clicked on had different equipment on it. Like, I thought you'd just click on one shelf and it'd give you show you all the equipment available. So a bunch of people got really frustrated with me at the comments because I would only click on one shelf when I went into a store and leave. But I, of course, know that that's not the case now. Daedric Longbow, that's, that's awesome. I would love to do a run of Daggerfall when I play as an archer. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. I wonder if you have anything for us to do. You don't. Okay. Let's check on the quality of these other stores. This one's... Okay, we got a bookstore right here. Get an armor. Just a medium quality shop. And that's just a clothing store. Okay, so the center of town doesn't have that much interesting available. Anyways, we'll head to the palace now. The people in the palace might have quests for us to do, actually. This is a nice little entrance to the palace, actually. And with these uh, 3D trees from the Trees of Daggerfall mod, it looks uh, pretty cool. Oh, I guess it will be probably not be open till 11. Usually palaces aren't open till 11. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save the game in here. We're looking for a zombie, I imagine. So we're looking for a zombie, I imagine. I can hear it already. Oh, it's actually a vampire. That's uh, more intense than a zombie. Wait, vampire just died. But I didn't get any prompt as if I'd killed the right enemy. Was that not the enemy I needed to kill? I would have thought that would have been it. Let's see. Usually you get a prompt when you successfully kill the NPC for a quest. Hmm, I hope that was, uh, it's not a bugged quest or something. I guess it could be. I mean, it's not a huge deal if it's bugged. We have such high reputation with a major skill that failing one quest isn't going to do much to our reputation. Um, I could always reload the save, but at this point we came all the way over here, so I don't really want to. Oh, this is like a maze up here. All these rooms, but there's no one in them. Let's see if any of these nobles have something for us to do. Titian, sometimes I don't know why I continue to sustain some of these cities. The guards in Kogria are apparently not competent enough to stop a criminal uprising. Now I get reports of nightly assaults in the streets. Go there and do what the town guard refuses to. Okay. Apparently Kogria is facing some crisis brought about by some particularly well-organized criminals. No one knows how many there are, but I don't expect to slay less than a dozen of them before they get the point. They only appear at night, so find a tavern to stay in until that point. I'll hear of your success within six days. In the town of Kogria, is that it? The capital city, I assume? Let's see where that is. Kogria. 
Yeah. Uh, well, before we travel to Kogria, I'm going to go and see if I can actually return this quest if I successfully slayed the, the monster. Um, the Mages Guild of the Mages Guild. What? W what city was I just in? Aldchester, right? Let's go to Aldchester and see if I can return this quest. Or if it's bugged. If it's bugged, I can actually always just terminate it using the console, as you've already seen. Okay, so here we are back at Alchester. I'm going to figure out if this quest is bugged. Uh, Mage's Guild is going to be straight to the west of here. Yep, okay. And let's see. Oh, it's uh, 7 in the morning. We gotta loiter like 4 hours, so people are actually in here. Okay. Oh, we did it. Okay, nice. So it wasn't bugged, it just didn't give us a, a prompt when we killed him like usual. Back so soon, I almost expected to never see you again. Well, I hear the blasted cousin is now 6 feet under, so we won't be bothered again by that damned creature. Here are your 1200 gold pieces. Excellent work as always, Warlock. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to be more than a Warlock, so I need to remember to keep increasing my restoration. So let's head to Kogria now and do that quest for the noble. We want to improve our reputation around here, make us more than just a common citizen. Let's travel to Kogria now. Okay, so it is 7 in the morning here, so I'm going to want to rest overnight in an inn. Because the enemies here aren't going to come out till the nighttime apparently. So I guess we'll want to rest all day. Uh, let's see if we can find a, an inn. There's one up this direction. And we will just rest uh, during the day and get to like 11 at night and then we will hopefully do this quest. So we'll get a room and we're just gonna rest like, let's see, like 15 hours, I guess, to get to around midnight. I probably should have saved before I did that just to make sure I'm getting the timer right. It's okay. I'll save the game before we go outside. Okay, so there should be enemies around here. Oh, there's some NPCs there. They that just despawned. Some townspeople NPCs. Okay. So there are guards walking around. Now this should actually be an inter interesting interaction if the enemies do spawn because... Um, these guards now, uh, with the new version of Villager Immersion Overhaul, should actually attack, help me attack the enemies. I'm not seeing them. You are in the right place, right? Let's just check. Go to Kogri and any criminal mob that moves about in the nighttime. We might as well put on our armor if we're going to be fighting a criminal mob. Should I keep walking around, waiting? Maybe uh, just loiter one hour. See if that helps. Uh, here we go. Enemies nearby. Let's see if this interaction works. Okay. So th this guard should attack this uh, this enemy over here. Let's see. Okay, look at all these guys. Uh, okay, the guard is not, not really attacking the enemy like he should, but that's alright. I'm going to go ahead and use my placing marker fireball to take these guys out. Why is the guard yelling halt? Did I did I commit a crime? Surely not. Okay. That's quite a lot of them. I don't know if that was enough or if we should wait around a little bit more. I, I wish the vill villager immersion overhaul interaction worked. That would have been pretty cool if it did. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. I, I was about to say there's a lot of enchanted items on this person's corpse. That was just my, uh, my wagon. Okay. Damn, that, that sucks. That the, the guard's not doing anything. He's just yelling halt. I really thought that that villager immersion overhaul. I have actually tested it out before. It does seem to work. Ooh, a Daedric Warhammer. That should be val valuable. Okay. We got another one. Come on, be useful, guard. Make Do something, man. Look, the city's getting invaded. No wonder I was sent. 
You guys can't do anything. You guys are useless. I have to come in and clean up your business here in Kogria. You're just yelling halt. It's not very helpful. Here's another enemy. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of these guys. Hey, Mr. Guard, fight this guy. Fight him, look. Look, he just stands there and yells halt. I swear it's bugged. Ooh, a Mithril Longsword. We're actually making a lot of money off doing this quest. I should be spamming this a lot more than I am. That would be really cool if the interaction was working, though, and the guards were helping me take care of these damn criminals. There's a lot of them. I wonder if we're... So I don't know how, how long we have to stay here and kill these guys. Um, there could be a prompt, or there could... Ooh, I got a disease. I feel somewhat bad. That means I'm poisoned or there's some sort of disease that I have. Let's check what it is. I've been poisoned. Okay, we have a venom antidote talisman, so that should take care of the poison. It did. Perfect. A fierce scream pierces the night air. Wow, okay, that might be the, the indication that I've killed enough of these, these ruffians disturbing the city of Kogria. And probably made a lot of money off them too. Uh, just to make sure, I'm going to walk around a little bit longer. Okay, there's still a few more. I might as well keep fighting this guy. The band leader lies dead at your feet. Your work here is done. Perfect. So this was the band leader. And we have liberated the city. Despite the complete inaction of these guys right here. I hope, by the way, I didn't accidentally commit a crime or something, because usually they only hell hole when you've committed a crime. I don't think I have, but... Oh, this guy would talk to me. Why is his health bar red and the other guy's health bar green uh, or yellow? I guess when the enemies spawned, their health bars turned yellow for some reason and they sort of glitched, even though they were meant to attack them. Okay. Uh, well, we finished this quest for sure, so let's head back to wherever we got this quest from. Where was it? Uh, Van Castle Garden. So we're going to go back to Van Castle Garden, specifically the, the palace there, and return this quest. Okay. So we are back in Van Castle Garden. Just got to head to the palace now. Make sure we're heading in the right direction here. Oh, it's right up to the north. Okay, so no, gu no guards are yelling halt running after us. So I don't think we, we committed a crime. I think the halt was just an interaction with the enemies appearing. So let's head in here and pick up whatever reward we got for doing that. Hail Titian, the Devourer of Souls. I like that title. This is one for the record books. Have your gold. Thank you very much. Okay. So it's now the 10th of Frostfall, so we're pretty close to Daedra Summoning. So I say we just wait out the next couple days till the 13th and then do the Daedra Summoning quest. So I guess what we'll do is we'll wrap up this episode just by getting to the 13th, by traveling or waiting out the time, and then we will do Daedra Summoning the episode after. Um, traveling to Alchester, that could take up uh, a day or two. We could also just travel like in a roundabout manner, like let's go to Wickwing Orchard. Why not, right? Okay, here we are at Wickwing Orchard, just for fun. Just to wait out the time. Uh, let's actually... I should have removed uh, my enchanted stuff before I did this traveling. It's okay. Um, I doubt there's going to be anything in here, but let's hop in and just see, see what's going on in here. We've just got this lady in her house. Didn't expect to find anything else, really, but... See if there's anyone else living in the Wickwing Orchard. Well, we've got an attic. Oh, didn't mean to climb up here. Oh. And that's that's pretty much all there is to this place. Okay. Well, let's head out. We'll admire. Okay, so we got some guards here at Wickwing Orchard. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, let's head back to Alchester now. I think we've traveled long enough. 
I think we'll get to like the 12th by going back to Elchester. We'll see. Okay. So it is V12. It is 7 a.m. We need to make it to the 13th. So we're just going to head to an inn. We'll go straight to the, the east, I guess. And we will hop in um, the inn and wait out to the 13th. Now, we only have 37,000 gold. We're going to need to withdraw a letter of credit with a ton of gold to pay for the Daedra summoning. And then we can also sell the, the loot that we just got as well. Um, or we could just wait because we might as well wait till our wagon's a bit more full. We only have, you know, 172 out of 750 of it filled up. So, I say we hop into this inn. And let's get a room for just one night. And we need to wait out, uh, like, 24 hours, I guess. So we're going to save the game. Uh, ooh, 741. And we're just going to rest for a full 24 hours. So it is now a it is now 7 a.m. Uh, on the 13th, which is the Daedra Summoning Day. It should be Frostfall, the 13th of Frostfall. Okay, so uh, we will leave Daedra Summoning for next episode. Uh, I guess at the start of next episode, we will go get the money that we need to do it, and we will also maybe sell some of our goods if we want. But either way, at the start of next episode, we'll head to the Mages Guild and do a Daedra Summoning quest, which I'm very excited for. Um, and then after that, like I said, uh, maybe we will download the airships mod after that do some flying in daggerfall we have a cartographer's guild quest to do so we have lots on our plate to do after uh the dangerous summoning quest next episode but regardless thank you everyone for watching uh, i appreciate it and i will see you next time